Hey everyone, Kima here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to go into and talk about some quiet luxury designer bags from my own collection that I absolutely love, that are so understated, not trendy, super fabulous, and I usually get lots of questions about them. So I'm gonna talk about six of those bags from my collection. The last one might be a little bit trendy, but I think the size is what makes it unique in the quiet luxury space. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about bags. <laughs> All right, so first up, we've got my Hermes uh, Pickle Tin in the size 22, and this is in the Clemens Tourion leather. I might be saying that wrong. Um, I think the French pronounce it like Tourion, but this is my gorgeous Pickle Tin baby. You know, Hermes is like the one of the creme de la creme for handbags. If you're a handbag lover, luxury handbag collector, or in any kind of love, even if you don't own one, you probably know just the importance of the Hermes bags. Now, I love Hermes bags, absolutely love the quality of their bags, and the Pickle Tin is one of the bags in my Hermes handbag collection. I do have quite a few Hermes bags. And I have the popular ones, the Birkins, the Kellys. I don't have a Constant, but the Pickle Tin is very, very understated, very much quiet luxury. This is in that Clements leather, so it does have a slouch. It has a slouch effect. The leather is like a young bull. It, it's pretty close to like the Togo leather. The Togo leather is a little bit more heavy grain. This is a little bit more flat and um, it's made to slouch. You're supposed to like wear this bag. It's supposed to slouch. It is a bucket bag in that bucket bag category. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I have the lock locked here, but it's super simple. There's not much to it, not much in it, two straps. You wear it like this, really. It has a flap right here to go through the um, the buckled compartment. It does come with the lock, which which I think is pretty amazing. Um, and the lock follows through with the Kelly styles of the Hermes bags. And what you would do to really um, adjust this, I do have the lock on here, so it's kind of hard to do, is to put it through the lock straps and then flip it over and then the lock falls here beautifully so it would fall on the other side but with the lock at the end and it's very very much an understated bag i carry this bag nine out of ten people probably wouldn't know it's an hermes bag there's nowhere on the outside that says hermes on the inside at the bottom it does just have the simple plain Hermes written, I don't even think it's embossed. I do have stuff stuffed in it right now so you could see it, but it is a gorgeous understated bag. It comes in other sizes. There's a bigger size than the 22. There's an 18 and then there's even a mini. I do have an 18 pickle tin, um, but I'm just doing this one, the 22. Maybe I'll do a review of the 22 versus the 18 to show you the size variation, but this is pretty much a nice casual, everyday elevated understated quiet luxury bag it's gorgeous and beautiful it is so soft and the leather is absolutely beautiful you can smell it it's it's just it's just gorgeous it's one of my favorite just get up and go grab put my stuff in there not drawing any attention to my bag that i love to wear no one knows no one cares and i love it because then i just get to go about my own way Fashionably beautiful knowing the quality of what I'm wearing for myself or the few people that I do know for me luxury is so personal It's the way it looks to me. It's the way it feels to me and not so much for every or anyone out there So the pickle tin is a favorite of mine and it's a great starter bag if you're looking to start at any kind of luxury collection if you want really you know the top of the top then the Hermes pickle tin is a great starter and I score this pickle tin by being lucky, two Hermes bags I've scored by being lucky when they do their drops, which is so, you just have to be lucky to get a drop online. Boom, I just clicked order and I'm, and I'm out, checked out. So love this bag. Moving on, I have my Chloe Mini Annie shoulder bag. Love this bag so much, particularly the color. The color is such a beautiful, neutral gray color. This is, they call this color the Monty Gray. It is really, such a nice neutral that 
you know, you don't have to match your shoes with your bag or your belt with your bag, but if you're wearing any kind of neutral shoes, neutral bag, this is a great blend to any neutral. And I really, really love this bag. I also love this bag, particularly because I can carry it two ways. I can carry it just by, you know, top handle vibe here with the chains or it does have a long strap inside that can go cross body. So I love the versatility of it. The straps are also detachable. And when you do want to um, wear it with the long straps, these can come through the loops, taken off and go inside the bag or stored you know, at home and you carry the bag. The flap has a beautiful closure, which I really, really love. And the shape of the bag is also very beautiful. It's so structured. I am particular to structured bag, even though the first bag, the Hermes Picotin, is not a structured bag, but it's still a beautiful, casual, understated bag. I love this Chloe bag, that it's so understated. Again, there's no logo really on the outside. You can see the Chloe sign really close up. So you really have to be standing close to me, sitting close to me to see the Chloe sign or on the back embossed in the leather here, which I really love. The interior also has this really nice smooth leather. This is the only Chloe bag I own, and I think the quality of this one, the Mini Annie, is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if they still sell it, carry it, make it. The chain details is fabulous. This is what Chanel gold chains used to look like, but ah, it's just so rich and beautiful and this is a bag I love and I will always keep and own. Matter of fact, I will never sell any of my designer bags. I'll keep them. Moving right along, I have my Fendi tote. I honestly can't remember if this bag has another name, like a full name, but it's a Fendi tote. I do remember it came in two sizes. There was a bigger size and a smaller size. And I've had this bag for a couple years now. I would say five to six years. And I don't think they make this anymore. I don't know why. And again, sometimes with designer brands, people go for the heavily logoed, you know, and so on. So maybe the sales were low because it did, didn't show enough that it was a designer bag for people. But I love the understated feel of my designer bags. This is a bag that I do get asked quite a lot because you could tell the quality if I'm carrying it in person. You could really tell that it is a quality bag and you might want to know like where's the bag from it has fendi roma right here written and it's not embossed like with like any kind of metallics it's just engraved in the leather so you can't even tell just seeing the name you really have to look up close even as close as i am right now it is hard to tell so it's a nice beautiful sized tote honestly actually for totes i carry this bag every fall i mean and i put this bag through so much work <laughs> and i really love it i also carry it a lot in the winter time and i love this bag i love the size of this bag the functionality it opens beautifully i'm sorry i do have stuff in there this is one of the bags i don't care i don't take a lot of care in it because it, it can withstand some rugged movements so I have CVS receipts in here and crayons for my kid. Of course, we might have gone to a restaurant. It has a small little um, keyring thing on here. And the best part for me, I love multi-purpose bags. It has a long strap that's detachable. And I love that because like being a mom, clearly have crayons in my bag. Being a mom, I could throw this over my shoulder or I could carry it on my arm. Um, like this or I can also um, just carry it top handle. I love this tote. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's really simple, but it's such a classy, understated, quiet luxury bag and I love carrying. Also, I love that the leather mimics like the Clemens Torion leather in the Picotin, the Hermes Picotin, which is so interesting. I would love to know more details on the leather that they made this bag with, but it's, it's, it's an older bag and I, I think I bought it Sacks at Saks like years ago. So this is a great one and a great way to like shop designer bags that are understated is to not necessarily shop the bags that as they come out the year of. You also get to know which ones are super trendy. They're on every celebrity's arms, every influencer arms. It's just everywhere and if that's not your vibe there's lots of other amazing options even on the brand's website themselves that speaks to you and your vibe so if you're shopping bags designer handbags especially you're spending quite a good amount of money on it i always recommend that you really shop your vibe and not necessarily the trend if it's trending great 
right? But shop your vibe. I know I love a top handle or something I can hold and a strap. If a bag comes with both, I'm I'm gonna buy it. And it's more about what's in my closet and what would I need or what could make better sense and what I just gasp over like, oh, that is nice, right? So make sure you're shopping designer bags for your own taste, your needs, and what works for you. Moving on, this is another of my loves from Hermes. This is the Hermes Urbag. Um, it is in the color Beaten Toffee, and this is a canvas portion. So this is very much a casual, elevated, understated, quiet luxury bag. This is such a great summer, late spring, summer, early fall bag, simply because you have both the leather and the canvas portion, which is really so summery, so casual and relaxed. So picture wearing like your white denim and like a button down shirt or your blue denim button down shirt and you want to throw like a casual understated, really classy and fabulous bag in the mix of it, then this is a great option. Um, the Hermes Urbag do come in a couple of sizes. I do believe they have about Three, to three or four sizes. They have a big one, which is the zip carbine or something like that. Those are more like men kind of like travel bags. But what I love about the airbag, and I do love this size for myself. It's my only airbag, and I really want to get the smaller size in black on black. And it's been so hard to score it on the Hermes website. And I can source it from my SA in the Hermes store, but you know, sometimes they're kind of like, they don't make commission off of bags. And sometimes I just love the thrill of scoring. So I did score this one on the website. I love shopping online. I just want to shop, buy what I like, when I like, how I like, rather than like, can you find this for me? Can you, you know, anyway, that's another story. But this one has the silver hardware, um, which I love because I don't have a lot of silver hardware bags. It mimics the Hermes Kelly bag a lot and another reason I love the air bag. People don't go for this bag a lot simply because it's not a Birkin, it's not a Kelly, it's not a Constance, which are their top three coveted bags. But this, if you if you are looking for a really good Hermes bag, they don't have it in all leather. It always is a canvas, but there's different color canvas. This one is pretty light, so it's delicate. It do have a slight little swell at the bottom here, but no big deal. Um, this is a great replacement to the Hermes Kelly bag, way less expensive, and the features on it are pretty amazing, pretty awesome. It also comes in a backpack form, I believe, and I do have a dress stuffed in there. It comes with an inner pouch on the inside. I'm pretty delicate most times with this bag. And you can even remove the straps and you can even adjust like the flap if you want to buy other, if you have other airbags that have a different color and want to mix and match it up. This is removable, this is removable, this is removable. So it's pretty much a really nice functional bag. It has a nice back flap piece here and it's a beautiful, gorgeous, casual bag from Hermes. It is made with such delicate, beautiful, gorgeous details, the leather. It's just rich and thick on it, and I love that it comes with its own lock and key vibe, which is also still given the Kelly vibe of the Hermes um, umbrella of products. So love it, love, 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 highly understated, also a great starter bag if you're into the Hermes um, bag phenomenon. <laughs> So I didn't give a full introduction at the beginning of the video, but hello, I am Kima. Welcome to my channel. My channel focuses on classy, everyday, elevated fashion and lifestyle for the everyday woman who wants to dress and look classy, live an elevated life on their own terms, within their own range of what that means. So if that's something that interests you and you just want to, you know, dress classily, look beautiful, fabulous and chic, effortlessly but still wearable and doable, then this might be the space for you. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Let's become friends. My comment section is always open, so please leave any questions, comments, suggestions, down there, I love, 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 love responding to your comments, especially the lengthy ones. I like to just be like, you know, grab my coffee and just, it just feels like girl chat, you know? So welcome, subscribe, happy to have you here. <laughs> Moving on, another uh, understated, quite luxury bag in my collection is my Lueve Barcelona shoulder bag. 
and Loewe is has become super popular, super trendy brand in the luxury space. They're a little bit edgy, so they're not always like particularly um, on the forefront of classy styling, but you still can find classy stuff in from every designer. It's just that some designers are a little bit more polished, some are so much more trendy, edgy, and I find Loewe to be a lot to be edgy a lot but this bag love this bag it's such a classy timeless bag it reminds me of the that bag brand that the queen usually carries what was it called again oh my gosh i can't remember so the queen you know the queen carries one bag brand and it's not even a british brand i think it's a french brand okay i might be saying the wrong thing but the, stay with me here <laughs> So the shape of this reminds me of, you know, the shapes of the bags of that brand. And it's so structured, so gorgeous. When I first saw it, I was like, okay. And this is a color I absolutely love, as you could tell with my Hermes um, Picotin. It's pretty much in the same color category. So now the gorgeous feature about this bag is that it has this beautiful, um, almost like logo-like opening at the front so gorgeous so cute it's so chic it almost looks like you know it's just made and stay in there love it this is how you open the bag my bag has a lot of space when i tell you this bag i can dump so much stuff in it it's so understated from the outside i can dump a lot of stuff in this bag and yes 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 it has straps love a bag with straps multifunctional i can top handle or i can strap and i absolutely love that it also so it does have two compartment it has a division right here with a little like flap piece what is this um oh this is the this is the um the tag it does have a uh, separation here flat piece here to put your small miniature purse or even like stick your phone in here or whatever you want to separate it from not heavily logo the only logo on the outside is just the Lueve sign here which is still very understated you can't really tell so much and because it's not a popular bag then it flies under the radar of the quiet luxury space also has a sizable back pocket which can hold my big phone which is the what is this 13 pro max and i also have a the, the 15 pro max it can easily hold the what the purse and um, it carries a lot this one is very understated love this bag it's a gorgeous beautiful bag I don't know if they still make it and if they do and if you're looking to add like a quiet luxury understated really good structured bag to your closet then this is a great option finally um, the last bag I want to talk about is the bag that it is a popular bag but I think the sizing makes it so unique and it is the Bottega Veneta um pouch but this is a smaller one smaller mini one i did how i ended up buying this bag one of my colleagues in the space monica i saw her i think two years ago she had bought the bottega pouch bag and she loved it so much and she did have this size and i was like i didn't quite like the bottega pouch bags because it didn't have any strap and as you can tell i need something i'm not like a i can do this for an evening bag like a clutch but for a day bag i need a strap somewhere and I remember she gave a review of it and I was like, love it, love that. Went online, saw this color and I was like, kaboom, I'm getting it. Love it. This bag is so understated. It holds a lot. Of course, all my bags have trash in there. It, it's so tiny on the outside, but when you open this baby, a lot goes in there. I get to dump a lot that sometimes I'm closing and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's too much. It's quite understated in how much it can hold because it doesn't have any structure really. And also the cool thing is it's all leather and bag, nothing else. No inner pocket so you get to stuff almost everything in there that you want. Your phone, your keys, a small wallet, sunglasses, lip gloss. I can stuff all of that in here, which I absolutely love. Now, it is like a crossbody, so I can definitely do crossbody with it. And what I love is that the straps are adjustable, so I can go all the way down low if I wanted to, let's say this height, or if I wanted to go full crossbody. Love this bag, it's so understated. It is such a nice, buttery, soft bag to the point of how much I love and carry this bag all year round. It is a darker color, but all year round I carry this bag. It's easy to pack, travel with. 
I love this bag so much that I have considered over and over buying the bigger pouch and I keep on having to reel myself in that the bigger pouch without straps is just not for me. I won't carry it much and I would waste my money. So for now, I'm sticking with this one. Love it, love it, love it. It's such a gorgeous, everyday, easy to wear, not high maintenance, quiet luxury. You don't see the Bottega sign anywhere outside. It's just slightly engraved in the um, leather here. You can hardly see it. And I love that it's understated. You don't know. You just can really feel the quality when you wear it. So I do have um, a couple of other luxury like videos on my channel. I did film and talk about luxury shoes, luxury bags, because those are things that I'm um, utterly into. And I love a good designer bag and good pair of shoes. So if you're interested, you could check out some of my older videos. I try not to focus too much on luxury fashion because that doesn't make your fashion classy. You can buy bags from anywhere. It's just my preference. But let me know if you want more luxury related videos. I will be happy to do that. I love luxury goods and fashion. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know which of these bags is your favorite or if you have multiple favorites that you love or which one you just thought is just ugly and just doesn't, doesn't fit into the quiet luxury category. Let me know. Whatever your comment is or whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.